Good afternoon, everybody. Phil Simons with Columbia Grain here and your Friday afternoon weekly grain market recap. Well, there was some actually some fresh fundamental data to take a look at this week. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. I am going to share my screen with you again, and we're going to navigate to our favorite website, ColumbiaGrain.com. And again, if we navigate to the upper right-hand corner to the Producer Solutions tab, that'll bring you to our Columbia Grain Producer Solutions website. And again, right in the middle of the page here, we have the latest USDA charts, but really one of the big things that we want to take a look at today was the release on Wednesday of the Canadian Spring Wheat uh, Plantings Report. So let's go ahead and, and launch this and take a look and see what some of the historical numbers are uh, for Canadian Spring Wheat Plantings. So this chart really is going to go back all the way to the, to the 2001 crop year, along with taking a look at what the high number has been in planted acreage, along with the average uh, planted acreage uh, report coming out of Canada. So really this year, all the way at the far right, you can see 2023. Uh, and in terms of where we had been last year, you can see a fairly sizable increase in terms of overall potential planted acreage of Canadian spring wheat. And really the largest number uh, of overall planted wheat, wheat acres there since 2001. So pretty substantial uh, jump there. And again, what really led to potential uh, downward pressure uh, in the grain market complex, really in the wheat entire complex, when we take a look and see what happened uh, on the week. So really, let's take a look and see what did happen on the week. And when we take a look at the left-hand side of your screen, we can see we're going to start with these corn again. And the weekly range was 30 cents. Uh, let's see, we actually wound the week up down 21 cents in, in the corn pit. When we take a look at no beans with the weekly range there was 37 cents. We actually wound the week down 23 cents in, in beans. Uh, next up with the wheat complex, uh, Kansas Deet had a massive range once again of 65 cents and actually wound the week up down 49 cents. Uh, Chicago wheat had a weekly range of 51 cents and a weekly change of, of a loss of 42 cents. And finally, when we take a look at Minneapolis, we see that the weekly range was 57 cents there for new crop, for Dece anyway. And again, the weekly change was down 37 cents. So again, really just highlighting uh, the importance of getting your orders out there and working um, really from cash to basis to HTAs. Now, the other thing to look at is potentially a minimum price contract. Now, we, I want to do a highlight again here, and let me share my screen with you once again um, and take a look at just a historical pricing chart uh, as well. And this is really focusing in on Chicago wheat, but really you can take a look at uh, and make a similar case for Chicago, Kansas, uh, Minneapolis, along with corn and beans as well. But this uh, continuous wheat for Chicago uh, really goes all the way back to 2006, 2007. You can see some major... Um, movements here back in 2008 when we got up to 1330 and change and then again this past year when we got to about to the same price and then what's happened in between there really it, it keeps coming down to what, what could be viewed as a resistance and a support line um, and a pivotable pivotal number of six dollars and seventy to six dollars and eighty cents in Chicago wheat anyway and really when we we're looking at it here um, back in 2009 uh, and again, in 2014, 2015, it was really coming in at, at more of a resistance level, meaning that it was hard to get through that price. Uh, but then again, when we see what, what, what's happened with the price uh, action since uh, the, the war in Ukraine and Russia has, has, for all intents and purposes, started to wind down a little bit, uh, we can see that we actually did break down below uh, that that support line. So really it just begs the question, where does it go from here? And really it is anybody's guess. However, if we look at, at history as a guide, we can see that really from 2014, really all th through about the, the first half of 2021, we did spend an awful lot of time kind of in this range. And this range would average, you know, right around $5.50 to $6 a bushel. Now, I'm not saying that we're going to go back down to those types of levels. However, when, once we once we breach this line up from a technical perspective, it really just kind of begs the question, where do we go from here? And especially when we look at the world comp com competitiveness in terms of, of U.S. wheat and, and pricing standpoint. So, again, just really highlighting the importance of getting your orders out there and working. So get a hold of your local Columbia Green merchandiser and get those orders out there and work in. Other than that, we're going to wrap everything up for the week here. Want everybody to have a great weekend. And remember, 
If you can drink it, don't trade it. We'll talk with you next week.